Hey everybody, my name is Merlish and welcome back to Life is Strange episode 2. We left off with another choice and I seriously don't know what to do now. Because if I answer the phone, Chloe might leave without me. And if I don't answer the phone, I mean it's Kate. I have to help her, right? If she... If there's something wrong, I mean... Ah, uh, this is tough. I can try both, though. So... I'm gonna answer first and then see what happens. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I, I swear. You forget. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? All right. Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. That wasn't too bad. It sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. It's not like I won't see her in class later. Yeah, but I... <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try, and we'll see. Alright. Okay, Supergirl. <laughs> let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. Don't answer. Later, Mom! Bye, Joyce. Freedom! I feel bad about Kate. She'll survive you not taking that one call. Now follow me, young Squire Max, so we can seriously attack your power and rule the world. I hope oh, Kate doesn't get upset at any answer. It. But I could rewind and answer her. You know what? You know what? I have to take that call. I have to take that call. I don't okay, want Kate Supergirl. to like Let's go to my do something bad. She was so depressed. I have to be there for hey, her. Hey, Kate. All right. I, I mean, wait. Hello? Oh, okay. I just had to click. Huh? Who's that? Hmm. I don't know, that that one argument between Chloe and her mom, or Kate feeling like I'm not supporting her. I mean, I guess that choice wasn't too hard if I think about it. Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, mm -hmm. do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. What the hell does she want to do, though? David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. What the hell is my test? Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> Nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. <laughs> Look at her. Why is she all cute all of a sudden? Um. Wait, let me check. Okay, I haven't read anything. <laughs> Meh. Okay, I ran into Warren, or rather, Warren was waiting to run into me. 
Naturally, you wanted to know what the hell happened in the parking lot with the Chloe and Nathan show. Once again, I felt like a dick because I should have gotten a hold of Wa Warren to see if he was okay after we just left him in the lot. I do owe Warren. Yep, you do. I only told him a little about what was going on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for him. I would love to at least tell him uh, about my ability to fucking reverse time and space, but ironically, I don't think it's the time... Is the right time or space. Besides, he would want to marry me immediately just so he could have his own human time machine. That is true. Or capture me for scientific experiments or make me go to the drive-in with him. I already said yes, so that's not valid. Oh wait, I did say <laughs> I did say I would go to the drive-in with him. Hope he doesn't make a lame move on me. Not that he would, egomaniac. He would, trust me. Warren and I do have a lot in common, but he's like a super cool geek brother. Anyway, I definitely need a movie escape. Before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to David, which made me nervous. Otherwise, I had a nice soundtrack right to the, to the Two Whales Diner. Talk about going back in time. I haven't seen the diner in five years, but it looks exactly the same. Although now there are way less fishermen and way more dumped food carts than there than when we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate, old ships, and a big ocean. Chloe was late, duh, so I was happy to be distracted by seeing Joyce again. The diner is like a museum piece, except with customers. Better still, the food hasn't changed at all. Joyce seemed really glad to see me again, and she didn't give me a guilt trip for not staying in touch. After William died, she wanted to move forward with the new life and husband. Chloe doesn't want to accept that. Joyce naturally gave me shit for corrupting Chloe with my devil weed, <laughs> though I'm not sure she even believed it was mine. She didn't. She doesn't believe it. What could I say? I can see she actually loves David, even if I don't see how. The breakfast was so worth the grief, though. So much drama, and I haven't even finished my breakfast. Finally, Chloe showed up, more bubbly than I would have thought after almost getting killed in a bathroom yesterday. It always makes me happy to see her smile. But that smile meant trouble, since all she really wanted was for me to show off my rewind power. So I did, and I have to admit, I felt like a total boss. Except I didn't start f Except I did start feeling weak and woozy the more I rewound. I even got a nosebleed, which kind of freaked me out. Chloe always wants more, so she demanded we go up to her top secret lair. She still had to get pissed off at me because I dared to answer Kate's call. I'm not a fan of Chloe's petulant side. She tried to make me feel like an ass, but screw that. Kate was so happy I answered that I, I actually felt worse for her. Worse for her? What do you mean? Chloe has to know I can have two friends at once. That is true. Oh, new, new thingy. Talking to Joyce Price after five, year five years was almost as intense as seeing Chloe again, especially right back in the old Two Whales Diner. That clinking of silverware and the smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back to being a kid, hanging out there with my parents for breakfast. I remember her always smiling at Chloe, even in mischief. Doubt she smiles at her hijinks. Hijinks? Hijinks. That is a weird word. Um but they still banter like mother and daughter. I moved to Seattle so soon after William died that I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed at me for being selfish and never looking back. I still remember the last time Chloe and I saw him alive. I wonder how often Joyce relives that day. That's the worst kind of rewind, one you can't control. But if I could go back to that moment, what would I do? I can only imagine how Joyce ended up with David Madsen. Talk about opposites. You can tell she loves him, disturbing as that sounds. Maybe she just wanted a more structured life for herself. Obviously, it didn't work out that way with Chloe. I hope they both treat her right. Joyce deserves the best. Alright. <sighs> let's, let's find... Let's find some stuff. Ah, oh, I already found my picture. Ah, photo! How do I take a photo? It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Um... 
How do I take a photo now? Maybe I have to be on this side? Yeah. Photo. Thank you. Alright. Um, the next one is a doe. Okay. Um, we have to find the bottles. No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the hush puppies. Crap. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. Nope, I don't oh, oh. want to go there. Sorry. Mm. Where the hell do I find bottles? Look at the boat. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. I don't even want to think about it. Old camera. Beyond repair. Oh. Rest in peace. That's too bad. That's too bad. Washing machine. Maybe it's in here. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Oh, I see a bottle. And a squirrel! Squirrel! Hi. Alright. How much did I have to find? Four or something. Hello, right? bottle number one. Yeah. Oh, no, one five. I need five. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Was he in a car accident? Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Where? What dough? I don't see anything. Oh! That dough is the perfect photo op. Photo. It's a fake though. Or like her imagination. I think. Yup, there's nothing there. Okay. Bottles. Um. Hello? <laughs> Bottles. What? Piece of clothing. This was an old school punk shirt. Too bad it's like ripped everywhere. Um, there's nothing here, I think. Maybe... No. Okay. And there was nothing here. I think. We're on the- oh, we- <laughs> I wanted to say, we're on the tracks, but I can't. Can't nope, do I it. Nope, I don't want to go there. Hey. I'm just exploring, Max. Maybe something is in here. Graffiti. Eat shit and live. Thanks for the tip. Oh, can I go in here? Where to find bottles? Maybe in an old refrigerator. Uh, is that in here? This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. This is nice. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. Chloe was here. Rachel was here. Max was here? Now we're officially a trio. 
We just have to find Rachel. Cool. Oh, another I bottle. I want to die. What? Jeez. Who wrote this? I do not want to know. Take the bottle. Boom. Only three bottles left. All right. Fuck Ouch. you. Yes, you. Okay. Thanks. Sup? Why? We are still going ape. Newburgh is 60 miles, so we should leave around 5. Hell yeah, we will in your new ride. Uh, we have to get supplies for the drive-in. Maybe we can have dinner first or whatever. Anyway, go ape. Too late? What is too late? Uh, that was weird. I don't know. <sighs> What's all this stuff? Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. No. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. It's probably not Chloe's, then. Bracelet. That kind of hurts. Oh, because you didn't have one? Yeah, that sucks. Um, anything else? I don't think so. Alright, let's find more bottles. This is the scariest thing here. No, this is the scariest thing here! Are you kidding me? Aww, poor thing. They left you here all alone. bottle but but uh, it's at the other side then plank hmm huh. I could use this board as a bridge doesn't look too heavy bridge for what for getting up here I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location uh how do I how do I do that though Hmm. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Can I get up there? <gasps> syringes. Oh, gross. Ugh. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Can I get up there? Those shells look fresh. And the textures are fucked up. <laughs> Um, no more bottles up here, I guess. Alright, get it. Way heavier than I thought. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Bottle. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Why would I sit down, actually? Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. That's nice. Where are the other bottles though? <laughs> I think I looked everywhere. Sort of. 
Maybe. Let me talk to Chloe. See what she says. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill. Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God or the gods. So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Yeah, sure. Oh, yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works. A god must doth know these things. Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can That's do. true. You should have been dead. You should have been dead. Um... So <laughs> I still need two bottles? What? Every car has its own tale in history. Oh my god, where do I look? <gasps> hey, hey! Oh yeah. Oh bottle. my god. Alright, let's let's go back. How do I uh Oh, oh crap. <laughs> um crate. That's better. One more bottle to go. Is it in here? Of course not. Max, sorry to have to bother you by asking you for advice. I- uh, Stop! I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. Kate, that is- That is so not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess, but thank you for answering my call this morning. I really needed a friend and you delivered. I'm on your side. XOTTYL. I am on her side. And I do care, so. Um. Where the hell is that last bottle? I prepare the shooting range while you look for some bottles. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. It's so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. Frustrating. Could there be a campfire here? No. Where do I go even? Mm -hmm. I see all the, the green little thing. Whoa! Oh! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god! That sucked so bad! I have been walking around for like 30 minutes, I'm not kidding! This- oh... Oh well, my god. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to capture the phone. Oh! I'm 
so mad! I'm so mad right now. That sucked. Jesus. Let's just get back to Chloe. Oh, God damn it. Thanks, Max. Yeah, it took me long enough. Why didn't you help? Jesus. You didn't you didn't do anything while I was searching those bottles. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're going to shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Why does that help you? Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Huh? Aim a- Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes sir. Oh yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. Yay! That was so fucking cool! Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Hold the trigger. Oh, crap. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. This... Hey, I... I... <sighs> Give me is... something to shoot, Max. This is, uh, this is kind of boring. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? <laughs> Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yay. <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Uh, Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Shoot the, shoot the tire. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Oh! Uber cool. Well, it worked. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. No. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! God, no. What is Chloe thinking? That she can just use me for her own amusement? That's not cool. I don't like that. At all. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. But what if I don't want to? I mean... Wait. Just when I thought shit couldn't get crazier. Chloe took me to her secret lair, the city dump, perfect for Halloween. Like where the vehicle and appliance ghosts of Arcadia Bay come to rot and rust. Urban dystopia porn. But instead of taking cool photos, Chloe wants me to do some silly kind of fun gun tricks. Um, Let me see for the f photos. Oh, okay.
photo. Alright, um... So, two left. I hope I didn't miss one, that would suck. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. I don't. I Are don't you feel like of getting it. in trouble. Oh, boohoo! Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Why is she so? Oh no. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. No. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step oh, back before no. you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? No. Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Oh no. What? What? Uh, no. Well, don't shoot. I guess. Come on, girly. Shoot me. No. Kick him uh, in his. Christ. Oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. She should have kicked him in his balls. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Oh, have God. a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Don't be like that. It's not your fault. You shouldn't have shot, and you didn't do it. Wow, so it's sir. all fine. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Wait, where is she? Ah, oh, there she is. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. All right, let's leave. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. There you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me, especially for stupid yeah, shit. Yeah, she doing that. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. And that's not cool. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out we need a new secret hangout 
At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Um... I'm kind of freaked out, but I'm not gonna say that. Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Uh... Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. Good. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks I wouldn't always be saying that. better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the bead poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ah! Oh, what? The train is coming. Right or not? What's that? Yep. Noise? The train. Oh shit. What do I do? Um Is there like a, a stick here or something? I don't know what this Something will do. Something the drum. Oh, please, get me out of here. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what this, this will help. This wedge locks the drum in place. Max. Yeah, pick it up. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, what is this? The train's coming. I Max, can't please. even move it an inch. Awesome, it's not locked. Max, get me out of here! What, what, what do I do? I better find the tool to cut those wires. Max! Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, again. Open. And then I need a thing to cut it with. Uh, and it's probably up here somewhere. Come on, Max! I know! Hurry. Shit, I can't budget at all! Are you kidding me? Please, get me out of here! Um... I don't get it! 
it! Oh, crowbar! I can definitely use this bad boy. Use it on this thingy? Oh god, we're too late. We're too late. And go. Alright. Do we have the we have the crowbar? Okay. I think we have enough time now. Okay. Now I can finally move the drum. I know, you don't have to say it. Lift Chloe up. All right, come on. Damn, that was close. You saved me again. Crazy. We were totally bombed in life. You okay? I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. <laughs> Aren't you glad well, I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. No. That's cute. She's a bitch sometimes, though. I don't know. Inner personality, for I ride, guess. Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? <laughs> Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. I don't know. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. <laughs> Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? No. Uh, it means shit happens, right? <laughs> no, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. It's only been two days, guys. <laughs> Jesus. Divorce Tex Club. Nope. I will not. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Alright. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss Justin it. Justin always looks stone. <laughs> he does! <laughs> Oh wow. Missing poster. Respect. Oh crap, I didn't wanna stop. That was weird. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Bully free me trophy. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They hello Zach. Sup, Max? <laughs> Sup? Weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. 
It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. I mean, what does she want? I don't Probably know. Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's True. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. All right. All right. I think I'm going to end this episode here. So in the next episode, we're going to wander around again and go into Jefferson's class. So, um, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you liked this episode. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next part. Bye!